Today on On Point, Harry Singh's grandmother's emotional plea for justice. I mean, you want justice to my grandson here, yes, but he's sick. He can't work. Oh, me want justice to my grandson. Harry Singh was the third of five children. He was very ambitious and hard working according to his family. He was found dead in the back dam of number three village West Coast Bobbies just days after the Henry Cousins, Joel and Isaiah's mutilated bodies were discovered in the back dam at Cotton Tree. Those killings rocked the country and prompted calls for the police to get to the bottom of the story. Singh's murder came as a shock to his family and one month later they are still seeking answers and are calling for justice. When I spoke with his grandmother Bashmati Singh, she was emotional. She said she has been unable to eat. Oh, me can't sleep. She can't eat. Oh, I remember my picnic. Oh, oh, I remember get mad. Oh, I don't know what I do sometimes. Oh, I throw out my clothes, my, my beard, my don't beard, I tell them I'm in a beard. I get mad for my grandson. <laughs> Post-mortem examination performed on the body of 17-year-old Harry Singh revealed that he died from brain hemorrhage and blunt trauma to the head. Oh, me want justice, me want justice, me glad. Oh, Father, who can do it for me? Oh, me husband sickly. Me husband was sickly man, he had diabetes. He just know, he just go to school and come home. He used to you walk and he can go sell. He go sell Bora Road. Oh, you all a bad settlement and I'm left no one. Oh, you big and you wear rubber slippers. <laughs> oh, when any clothes and me big me get you wear, I'm any gun. You sell, you come back, you say, I'll be more and I'll sell out. <laughs> what are we going to do with that? I'm telling tomorrow, I better lock me. I'm going to lock tomorrow. Oh, I can't be here, I can't live. I can't make it out. Oh. He just go sell, he just come back and go shop. And he just buy things for me cook because of five of them and he had it. <laughs> oh, we can't be able to move. Oh, nothing is good for me. Oh, where am I must turn for go? Tell me. His aunt Ramona Balgobin said Harish's death was a blow to the family. It's hard. It's hard for us. Because um, Harish was a good child. And I can't really. It's sad to know that he has gone so soon. We are still waiting. We are still waiting on justice. Nobody has never come to us as yet, telling us anything. Nobody has get arrested. So we're still waiting. She said his father passed away last year and his mother went to me and left them with their grandmother. These children here does just be at home. No else. They don't lie. <coughs> I don't know. He was going down at the back dam to take water and then just like that. So we don't know his food. Why they do such thing. It's been hard for the family here yeah, because we never suffer something like this. We know his father died and it's because of due to heart attack. The police investigations into the murders of Harris Singh and the Henry cousins, Isaiah and Joel, are ongoing. That's it for this edition of One Point. Do join us again next week for another edition.